Welcome back to episode two of Star Wars. <laughs> episode two of Star Wars. It's like your wife, she made this post today on Facebook. I thought it was funny because there's something big coming out of your anus or something. <laughs> but what is, you know, we find that funny, but it's actually this big old mega ship coming at us. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Shut up. If it's came... You know what kind of alien thing scares me? It's not these ones like... Um, hold on. Why does it scare you? No, the only one that does scare me is like the show V. Why? Because they eat rats. They eat. They go in the dumpster. They're blood sucking. We eat rats and oh. go in the dumpster. Unless it's blood. the new V where that leader with the short hair. The little pixie haircut? <laughs> yes, it's the fucking, fucking hot, round... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I don't care if she is a lizard underneath the costume. Yeah. I'm down with that. Did you remember? She kind of reminds me of a, a little elf type chest. of 24 hour fitness Pocahontas kind of mm-hmm. thing. You know, feel the heat right off the butt of some shit. Ooh! It radiates. I know. Make a temperature get. Oh, man, that'd be crazy. <laughs> but, anyways, that one is scary. talking about the, uh, the uh, laser thermometer experiment. Yeah, oh God, that, that's embarrassing times in the show. That's our dark moments. You know, if we were a very popular show. I think like, we should do it, actually. <laughs> the, I think we should do it this year at the fair. Oh, God. <laughs> and then we get on the Channel 8 news. The that's, Turco Files. Yeah. It ain't These right. These creeps. <laughs> These creeps. These heathens. Came to the, and he's walking through the entrances like before. Yeah. And it's like... It's, and then there's a cutaway to some, you know, you know by the young way, family <laughs> sitting there eating uh, cotton candy. Knowing us, it'll probably be the by the bonsai trees. <laughs> or the gem convent, or the, the gem place, or doing this some hippie shit. Ew, they, those guys are gross. They're probably not vegan. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> They're not vegan. <clears throat> no. But anyway, that's but but the where we came from this where we were doing talking about the movies, mm-hmm. we're talking about Captain America, Captain America the movies, and then we talk about this mega ship coming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you be uncomfortable with the aliens taking over? Um, and then we started talking about the the V chick from the new series and the pixie haircut. Yeah, I think it would be like that show talking about the movies. Is that Steve Carell one? Or, you know, the one where he's with that fucking British chick? Finding a friend for the end of the world or something? Oh, okay, yeah, what about it? That, people had, it was mixed. People were happy, people were sad. Why Remember? would it change your opinion of the world at all? Well, how is it any different that the ruling class that runs the world is from a different planet? Which truly it is. But, I mean, you already have a ruling class, right? You already yes. don't make your decisions. You're already told what to do. So what does it matter if the guy at the top of this structure is a lizard person or a normal person? Nothing. That's how, I, I guess, you know, in a certain sense, it just means if it's how you need to survive, it's like paying the rent. You just got to need right. to do it. Right. There's just some mega ship over the ocean there and... You know, right. just do what you need what to I do. deliver to who to stay afloat. Yeah. So, yeah, we have good times here on the Fish and Corn Show. We'd like to thank Pain and Pain Magazine. I think they're wheeling on. You know, they're speaking about that guy. He's a lazy motherfucker. We're almost at 300 episodes, and yet he has not even a fanzine. Well, I mean... At the risk of sounding like I'm defending the hipster here, uh, I don't know if you remember, but me and UFO Man used to do a zine. Yes. We did that for a couple of years. I think. And we, I don't think we put out more than 40 issues of that zine. That's a lot compared to zero. But yeah, it, 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 it takes <laughs> commitment, like, dude. He's a lazy. At least he could get one in the next. In the last and two and a half years. We did it before fucking, you know, computer format. Yeah, hand cut. Desktop publishing and shit. We did hand cut. Fucking, mm-hmm. oh. I did that in uh, that was, school. That but I think we should do another mass mailer. The walking style. 
flyer. A flyer? Yeah, you know. Yeah. And she worked at Go. I like the ones that we did for RE Therapy, but it needs to pop and it needs to be weird and it doesn't need to sell anything. That's right. We'd like to thank another sponsor, RE Therapy. They're in the bread. <laughs> but. They're in the bread. <laughs> <laughs> they, they need to get the, they need some, to get their product into more places is what they, what they need to do I like the sales guy speaking of which we haven't seen I wish the it sales guy is great dude I think we need to have this big uh, you know hopefully some one of us can win the lottery between now and the 500th episode we can have all these people meeting of the minds and plus, for UFO man, the city would be kind of good for him because you could probably, you know, in, uh, have a incantation of his uh, spirit. New Orleans, we bring we go our to Cap- sales we guy. We go hook up with Captain America and have him. And we bring the the sales guy. Sales guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, and it's just these people. We, we need to at least see one. <laughs> have one seance for UFO man. How about this corn? Mm. If we get to the 500th episode, what about that? We go to New Orleans. I'm down with that. It might be... I would be... love to get Captain America on tape. Yes. On a rant. Yes. Because you know get... <laughs> We just film him. Yeah. That'd be great. Oh my goodness. But yeah, you know what? I think it'll only be a little bit of uh, skrill. We could scratch just up something. Travel. Expenses, I mean... <clears throat> There's going to be a GoFundMe page, Fish and Corn Show. No, <laughs> dude, we rent a car and drive out there. Oh, car. drive out there. Yeah. That'd be interesting. It'd be very interesting. for a road trip, dude. Just flying out there is eh. Yeah, that's it true. It take more than a couple of days to drive out there. A couple of days to drive back. Just yeah, two days. spend more than a day over there. Do you know Captain America ain't got no grill and he's, he's lucky if he's got his own place. It'd have to be two nights. Two nights would be perfect. It's like anything. If you really needed to see something, you just see part of it or you just do the hustle style. Yeah. Because you can honestly get your feel of if you like were on a delay, maybe not every place. I've never been to New Orleans, so I don't know. That's one you can do. It's like Portland you can do, like in that kind of get a big feel for the place in two days. Like New York, maybe not. You know, places I've been like, to New York three times in my life. I still haven't seen enough of it. See, that's to, the thing. To be familiar with it. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not really interested in it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I think New Orleans is more the fish and corn style. You know, like I said before... I did love uh, London. I definitely want to go back there. Did you drive there? No, I did not drive there. This homegirl's friend drive there? She does, right? Yeah. So, no, but she doesn't drive... Her husband drives. Shut up. Homegirl's co- totally capable, but what's yeah, it? So hard to get. She doesn't have a license there. It's hard to get, right? Mm-hmm. Not really. Take some time. She's just not motivated. She's, I mean, they've got trains, dude. They, they don't, you don't need a car there. You really don't mm-hmm. need a car. Yeah, it's like Portland. And if I lived like, in that situation, I wouldn't have a car. Yeah, like I told Fishwoman, Portland, you can totally do walking and public and bicycle. Totally. You know what I've been obsessing over lately? What's that? The Lincoln Continental. That's a ridiculous car. What was that car? Speaking of cars, uh, real quick, but I'm going to talk about the Lincoln Continental. Mm. Was the one they had on um, that show Entourage, the beginning, it's that black car with the suicide doors. Big old fucking caddy. Oh, that's probably Chop top. that's probably an older Continental. If it has suicide doors, it's square. Yeah, it's probably two a door. Yeah. That's a sick car. If you're Let, talking an American car, right? You're not talking. Some, if I were to do an old car, it'd have to be one of those fucking old cars. No, nah, if I wanted to do an old car, like old fifties kind of car or that kind of thing. What about this Lincoln? No, I'm talking the new Lincoln. Talking about the new Lincoln. Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking no, about the oldies. The Lincoln Continental. 
Why? What's what's the is the insides that more interest the corn or is it the outsides body styling? No, or for, is it everything? For, for me, it's uh, give me a mobile uh, living room, something that will transport me from point A to point B. In what do you think about without jostling me and without making me feel uncomfortable? Comfort. I'm talking some of those big cars. Yeah, big sedans. But what do you think about? New, like that, you had that Lincoln uh, Continental, the new one. Mm-hmm. All those innards in something old. Do you like that style? Because they do that a lot. I've seen that. Uh, they have it on the Barrett. Oh, this has new shit. This is long. What's you the know? point? I'm just saying if it did exist. Because home guy, angry construction workers' dad <laughs> used to do those two cars uh, sleepers and old with new inside, like a new yeah. heart. I, I, I. He did no. the work himself. I like Frankenstein cars. Yeah, it's a few shares. I like that. Okay. I don't like it as a service. Okay. Don't sell me a bespoke vehicle. Okay. And that's what it is. Yes. It's a, it, they're trying to market a hot rods and on that into a buried. bespoke thing. Okay. Yeah, but the Barrett, that's Barrett Junction. But I'm just saying if it happens... The, you know, I, I like it nice. when some... Great, uh, I, I like it when some, some wrench monkey with a lot of time on his hands and skills puts together a nice modified car. Okay, What do you think that's about awesome. this? But that when they 10 try, block car. I got a video of that. Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. That's a sick four-wheel drive. The supercharger. Oh, my God. It's pretty crazy. But how much is this car, the Lincoln? And then we'll it go back to you in the third something, episode. 50 something and tops out at 76 with, you know, all the bells and whistles and all this other bullshit. But, I mean, you know me, dude. I'm not interested in buying a new car. I'm just looking at it going, okay, that's something I might look at in five years. Exactly. When it's on the used market and somebody's... What's the horsepower of this thing? Uh, I, I don't know. It's like 300 something. It, it's just a regular six cylinder motor. You know, some of them will be uh, ch- turbocharged. But. I'm going to come back with this, this Kalinkin. Can you draw that up so we the, the fish can take a look at yeah, that yeah. so we can talk about this in the next episode? This is for you who's going to buy it. Corn's an expert on cars. <laughs> and um, Yeah, an expert. We're on experts on everything, dude. (laughs) Anyways, bye-bye.